this is a really great tip, I feel like, and I just wanted to share that with the world. It's not every day that I learn a tip that actually saves me a bunch of money. And guys, grass-fed beef is a staple in my diet. It is my number one food for staying in remission and, of course, losing weight and all that other good stuff. It's a great keto food. It's a great autoimmune food, paleo food. I Whatever, whole food, whatever your diet, probably probably not vegan, but whatever your other diet you're on, this should, could be a staple for you. Hey Healthy Rose, welcome back to Adam Immune, the channel about helping you improve your autoimmune health naturally. And uh, today I have something special. I'm going to show you how I save money on grass-fed beef. This is the cheapest grass-fed beef that you can find anywhere. To my knowledge, if you know of any place cheaper, let me know in the comments. Uh, maybe I'll make a video on it. I just want to help everyone find uh, the best possible price for the best quality product available. I did not find this on my own. I did not discover this. This is my not my tip. I'm just going to spread it. Um, this is actually from Stacy at Real World AIP. I was watching her lasagna video the other day and she was using grass-fed beef and she mentioned how she got it from US Wellness Meats. This isn't your usual grass-fed beef though, okay? It's 65% lean, which is great because the fattier the better when it comes to grass-fed because then you get all your fat-soluble vitamins from the meat. That's great. You know what? Lean, you can eat lean meat. It's fine, but you're going to get more nutrition from the fattier cuts of meat, right? So when we eat 65%, that's, that's pretty much the best you can get. But it goes, it's even better than that, okay? Because it has 5% liver mixed in and 5% heart. So not only are you getting the best grass-fed meat and fatty, you're also getting organ meats. So you don't even have to add organ meats to your diet now. It's going to be in this. And from what I hear, it tastes just like ground beef or a let's say the liver is kind of disguised. So I think that's really smart, but I will try that in a bit and let you know how that goes. But before that I do that, let me just show you what I actually got. This is, I guess this is kind of a haul video. Oh, okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna back up a little bit. This is, uh, this is really heavy. Whoops, <laughs> I hit the camera. Okay, so this is a big box, uh, this is, 25 pounds I had to get. So you got to order 25 pounds to get the price. Um, I believe it's like normally like 5.89 or 5 something. I don't know. I'll put it on the screen right here. Uh, that's the normal price that you can buy um, just, and get however many you want. And then there's like another price when you buy 10 of them, you get this price. Um, but then when you buy 25, you get the cheapest price available, and that is five dollars and six cents. So basically five dollars per pound. Um, and of course, I was happy to buy 25 pounds worth. Now you got to keep in mind when you go to US One This Meats, and guys, I'm not an affiliate. I'm not making any money on this okay I don't have a link to, to send you there uh, maybe I'll put it in the description below just so you can find it easier if you want to do that I just want to share this tip just like Stacy because I seriously finding like cheap grass-fed beef is so cool right I don't know how well you can see this but it's like in a big styrofoam thing to keep it cool I'm assuming that is that is really nice like this is some quality packaging in, for this channel it's some really great quality packaging I we, do, we usually don't see that here do we Okay, I'm going to cut the sides of the box so I can actually open this. I'm using, my, I, this isn't a box cutter, this is my old uh, wine bottle opener. I have no use for that anymore, do I? Be careful when opening this. It's very heavy. I'm very weak. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just tearing down the box on the sides. There we go. Ugh. I'm sure there was a better, easier way to do this. Ugh. Whoa. Okay, so now you've got a big old box. All right, oh wow. Oh my God. <laughs> the journey continues. Okay, okay, now this is some SpaceX stuff here. Careful not to cut the meat. It does feel like Christmas though, doesn't it? Just a little bit. Okay, that looks really good. This is the grass-fed beef mixture, and it looks um, like <laughs> you can tell that there's liver and heart mixed in. Well, I wouldn't have been able to tell that if it hadn't said that, but okay. So now it's time to reveal what this actually is, uh, because some of you may be disappointed or even disgusted, and I'm sorry about that, but Honestly, I feel like price and health comes before anything. Um, 
Well, I, I don't know how to explain it, but okay. So basically, this is called Beef Pet Burger, okay? This is it, under the pet food section at US Wellness Meats. It's okay, it is human grade, so it is, I mean, people can eat this, and a lot of people in the community do eat this, as I've found out. I don't know how I just discovered this now, uh, but anyway, let's look at this. Uh, beef Pet Burger, 16 ounces, one pound. Uh, it's got beef, beef heart, beef liver in it, and that's it. So, yeah, it says for cats and dogs, um, but it's also for Adam, and I'm going to happily eat this, and I, I don't care. I, I just don't care. I, I think once you get past that, you know, I mean, what animals are eating this? They're eating better than we are. This is a really great tip, I feel like, and I just wanted to share that with the world. It's not every day that I learn a tip that actually saves me a bunch of money, and guys, grass-fed beef is a staple in my diet. It is my number one food for staying in remission and, of course, losing weight and all that other good stuff. It's a great keto food. It's a great autoimmune food, paleo food, whatever, whole food, whatever your diet. Probably, probably not vegan, but whatever other diet you're on, this should, could be a staple for you if you can uh, tolerate it, I guess, but most people can. Uh, remember, if you can't tolerate regular beef, there's a high, very, very high chance that you can tolerate grass-fed beef just fine because the omega ratios in regular beef is completely different than uh, the omega ratios in grass-fed, okay? I can't tolerate regular beef. If I were to eat some fatty, you know, se let's say 75% or even 80% um, fatty uh, ground beef, I would have a flare. I would have an autoimmune symptom. But if I eat grass-fed beef, fatty, lean, whatever, no issues. Um, so, I don't know. Take, take what you want from that. But I'm very excited about this, as you can tell. And actually, right now, it's dinner time. Or I just got off work, so I'm going to go uh, cook up some grass-fed beef, and I'm going to let you know how this tastes. So I'll be right back in a minute. Or maybe, maybe five minutes. Decided to clean up my office because it's going to take longer to um, thaw out this beef than I thought. So it's going to take a little longer for me, not for you. You'll see this in a minute. But, uh, yeah, seriously, these are like frozen solid. And it's amazing because, yeah. Something is frozen, shift, I don't know. We live in a great modern age. I forgot to mention earlier, but there is actually like a minimum that you have to buy from US Wellness Meats. I think it's like 75 bucks or whatever, but that's not really a big issue because I wanted as much of this as possible. Like the more you buy, the cheaper it becomes. So literally, this cost me, there is a shipping and handling, not a shipping, but there's a handling fee of like nine bucks. So it came to $136 and yeah, that's, Pretty cheap considering 25 pounds of grass-fed ground beef. And that would have cost me, if I would have got this from Walmart, I figured it up, it would have been about $170. I know you can get really cheap uh, liver at like Walmart. It's like two bucks a pound, but this is grass-fed, so keep that in mind. The difference between grass-fed and regular is like $8 a pound. It's seriously like 10 bucks for grass-fed liver. And heart, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's probably the same amount at least or maybe even more. So uh, considering you're getting all those different nutrients from all those organ meats and the beef and the fat, th this is the way to go. Anyway, uh, I'll be right back so we can taste it. But yeah, I got, I got to clean my office because I just, I just threw garbage everywhere. I got to quit doing this. And I'm back and I've got some uh, grass-fed beef here. Let's give it a try. I didn't solve this or anything. It tastes like beef. <laughs> I can't taste any liver. I've always really enjoyed fatty meat. So this actually has a lot of flavor to it. Unlike all the lean grass fed beef I've been getting lately. So obviously this tastes a thousand times better than that. I wonder what normal people would be doing right now. Oh, and if you're out there thinking this is weird, uh, this channel's probably not for you, <laughs> you know? This isn't that weird. This is like the least weird thing I've done this week. If it grosses you out thinking about eating pet food, um, let me just assure you, like, it doesn't taste like pet, I mean, I don't know what pet food tastes like, but it, it tastes like regular beef, right? It really does. It tastes like really, it tastes like really fatty beef, and that's my favorite, so that's really the best. Um, but yeah, if that grosses you out, um, I hate to tell people just to get, like, get over it, because I know there's, there's mental blocks, you can't just, like, uh, but honestly, if you can, then, you know, do what you can there. Um, if not, then, I mean, I guess keep 
paying high prices for it, and if you're not already eating grass-fed beef, you need to be doing that. I mean, I think that's obvious. Like, it, I don't know if I ever would have found remission if I hadn't have eaten grass-fed beef, started eating that. I mean, that's like my ace in the hole there. Like, you, you gotta be doing this. You know, the taste is good, but honestly, dollar signs is all I see <laughs> sometimes. Like, my, I, I feel like a food is even better when I know it didn't break the bank, right? And knowing that I can afford something healthy, it, it it gives me some, I don't know, it just makes me feel better. Like in the back of my mind, I know if, even if I go through hardships, I'm always going to be able to afford this, and that, that's a good thing. Oh, this is the really cool part. They have, they, uh, US One This Meats actually has their own AIP section, just for us AIPers. Can you actually believe that? Okay guys, it's now like a week later, or two, or three, I don't know, depending when you're seeing this, but yeah, it's been a couple weeks, so... Uh, I just wanted to share that it's not all like rainbows and unicorns here when it comes to this meat, alright? I was super happy when I found it, obviously because of the macros and uh, the nutrient content, which is great eating organ meats, but uh, again, there, there are some cons, and I feel like I would be doing everyone a disservice if I didn't say there were, because um, that's, that's what I found. Okay, so uh, I will say the packaging when it came in, um, a couple of them were ripped open. Uh, I looked on the website, it says about 5% of the packages have little rips in them, and, and I wouldn't bother even mentioning it but these are tears in the actual seal so like if you go to thaw them out you, you know I put it in my sink when I thaw out meat just in case it does leak like that is the usual like sometimes that happens a lot of people that eat a lot of meat you probably know that uh, or eat any meat uh, so you could put it on a plate in the fridge I just don't want somebody to like thaw this in your fridge and then like get uh, that that red stuff all over it's not blood it's like a it's a red protein that comes out of anyway uh, I'm not gonna get into that right now but anyway so I put it in my fridge and it will leak so just just be aware that that, that does happen in about five percent of um, shipments I guess that's I don't know if that's normal with online shipping let me know I don't ship a lot of meat I'm gonna start so I, I guess I'll find out there was also another issue now most of them I are great I've had about seven or eight of them by now and I, I they're still great they're delicious um, you can you, sometimes you get little pieces of bones though so I want to say that is an issue um, it's not edible okay it's not like soft or anything so you're gonna get them and you're gonna have to like pick them out of your teeth or, or just you know spoon them over I don't know but uh, that is an issue I guess that comes along with it being technically not it, it's not I mean it wasn't meant for humans I guess it's meant for dogs and I don't know maybe dogs can eat bones and that's fine I I guess they can so uh, that is an issue uh, sometimes you'll get not just bones you will get like tendons or like cartilage like little pieces and that doesn't bother me I like when I used to eat chicken I, I would eat like the soft parts of the bone and the cartilage I, I know you're, you're probably grossed out but this is still a good uh, way to get really cheap grass-fed beef and get your organs in uh, but just know that you know every every other <laughs> maybe one out of five containers is gonna have like uh, more bones than others like I like the one in eight it had like a bunch of little bones and stuff in it and it was it was unpleasant it, like it made me question whether I was gonna keep doing this so but then I I had more and I'm like oh, okay this isn't the usual but just keep in mind that that could happen okay and I feel bad that uh, if somebody were to buy a bunch of this and they wouldn't know that and they would be disappointed I'd feel really bad so I just want you to know that but I still feel like this is a good tip but also I did more research and people let me know in the comment or I, someone commented a while back this too and I forgot about it but anyway so I did the research and I found out there is other ways to get cheap grass-fed beef it's not gonna have organ meat in it so it's not quite as good as this and it's not quite as cheap as this but for Trader Joe's and Aldi's, um, I don't know if you guys have those locally, but let me know if you do in the comments. But basically, I have an Aldi's an hour and a half away, and uh, that, so that would be an option. It's like, I think it's $5.39 for a pound of grass-fed beef, and I think it's 85%, so that's really good. I would actually really prefer to do that. So next time I'm, I'm, I'm there in that city, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up a bunch of that. So that's going to be one of my options. That's going to be a staple from now on. Uh, but also at Walmart, okay, it is now like a month maybe two months later I hate to say that but um, I wanted to be really thorough in this video uh, now I talked about last time getting it from um, Walmart or Aldi's or Trader Joe's or different places so after I filmed that last piece I actually did get a um, big supply of meat from Aldi's and it was four twenty nine dollars a pound and they came in these three packs one and a third pound each so four pound these four pound packs in three packages um, and it cost about $17.50 something like that a piece so 429 was the best price I've ever seen of grass-fed beef and and it was very good quality so um, there but unfortunately um, 
my they didn't have any this last time I went they were completely out and you can't even call all these like they, they say on their website and when if you call the number um, that they don't have you can't actually call these store locations um, and that keeps their price down which it's so inconvenient though like what store do, you can't you call like I need to call and find out if you have this it's an hour and a half away so it's kind of inconvenient but anyway while we we're there we got um, some different meat from Walmart unfortunately that was the best price we could find it was actually yeah I've got um, a whole bag full and uh, we got a box uh, I feel bad because we took their whole supply of it um, but hey it is what it is right I, I had to do what I had to do um, for other people out there needing it um, you know I, I feel really bad but Hey, I gotta look after me, right? So anyway, this was yeah, five forty-seven a pound, something like that. Um, not the greatest price. Um, I have gotten it cheaper. All these would have been a great thing to save, you know, almost a dollar there or more uh, per pound. But at least these come in these regular size packages. You guys have seen this. This is what I get here at my local Walmart as well. Except at my local Walmart, they have ninety-three percent, so it's like six fifty. Um, they stopped carrying the eighty-five percent. This is eighty-five percent, which is cheaper. I don't know why anybody would want the leaner meat. I don't know. This is what it is. Hopefully, I can get, find a better supplier. We went to a local butcher shop there, but unfortunately, they had um, what they called grass-finished beef, but they don't know what it was raised on. So if it's not a hundred percent grass-fed and grass-finished, I'm not interested. And you got to be really, really careful when you're looking for grass-fed um, beef or you know products. You just got to be. You never know what they're raised on. You got to look at the fine print, right? Now on this, Walmart actually has really good quality. I've been saying this for a long time, but from they're from Market Side Butcher is what they use. Um, beef is 100% grass fed and grass finished from cattle that are never given any added hormones, antibiotics, or steroids, and it is organic, of course, as well. So I, I just appreciate that it is USD organic. So I know the FDA doesn't regulate grass fed as much as closely as they should, and I wish they. I wish they would. A lot of people are getting away with just calling stuff like pasture raised or grass finished or just grass fed and then it's not 100% grass finished as well. So you just got to be really careful and I'm sure I'm going to come across stuff and make mistakes. If I did make a mistake in this video and you really and you think you can help me with some tips, leave it in the comments below. Um, I'm always looking for better tips to use to find better quality meats always. Right now I've only got 14 pounds of this so it's going to only last me maybe two weeks, uh, maybe a little longer if I stretch it um, and I've got some like tuna and different you know fish so I can and, and actually uh, my family just gave me some uh, venison and some fish so that I might actually be able to stretch this out to three weeks but I really am going to need another supply of beef so I'm going to have to order from US Wellness Meats and get some of that pet burger I wish I really wish you could order straight from all these and just you know get that great price and order you know huge shipments I, I wouldn't mind paying a little shipping on top of that um, because I, I like the quality as well but uh, what I'm really looking forward to doing right now is I'm looking for grass-fed steaks or larger cuts of meat say the cheap cuts like um, a chuck roast or something like that and then I would be able to slice it thin myself and um, you know work it from there and then actually eat more raw meat I would like to eat more raw meat in my diet but I will not take the chance anymore I used to but I won't take the chance with uh, factory farm meat eating it raw I just you never know it could be contaminated and and it could be with grass fed as well but I think there's less chance and the, again you don't have the antibiotic issues the super bugs that come from that so I just I just want to be as careful as, and as possible and cheap as possible and I find like these tips that I've given in this video is that's kind of what I've gotten so far. Um, hopefully I make some progression in the future and I'm able to share this with you. Um, but this is where I'm at right now. Okay, I am finally, this is my last segment that I'm ever going to do. This video literally took like five months. I, <laughs> you could watch the story of my life through this, these videos. I've learned so much. Um, Alright, so I haven't gone with U.S. Wellness Meats in a couple months now. Um, I've basically been getting my meat uh, from mostly Walmart alright now not, not locally I have to drive like an hour and a half or whenever some one of my family members or a friend is out that way they pick some up for me which is nice now this Walmart stuff the 85% is like 550 right or 547 but I also get some of it from Aldi's as well uh, with this simply nature um, now again guys these are you're probably thinking Walmart Aldi's oh that's not good grass-fed it is it's a hundred percent grass-fed grass-finished 
all that good stuff. Both of it's organic, non-GMO. So um, I checked it out myself, and you know, you really can't tell much of a difference between these. Um, this one seems a little bit maybe redder. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because the way it's they're, they were frozen and they're kind of melting, so I don't know, it's hard to say, but uh, honestly, in person, you really can't tell a difference. In the camera, it looks like this one's lighter. I don't know, maybe it is a bit, but yeah, honestly, to the human eye, there's not much difference, so don't worry about that. And I can't taste a uh, difference with taste or anything like that, so uh, again, I think they're about the same quality. Um, I do like Walmart because it's, it's a little more, uh, it's convenient, alright, like, they usually have more in stock in Aldi's. Like the last two times that I've had somebody go and pick some stuff up for me, they've been completely out. So I don't know what's up with that. Oh, and the last time I got it from Aldi's, they came in these like packs of three and they were like a pound and a third each. And this time I just got a, here, I'll, I'll put it up here. I just got a haul that a buddy uh, got for me in Wichita, Kansas. A big old load. I got like, I don't know, 17 pounds or 15 pounds worth of meat. But um, that's only going to last me like maybe two weeks three weeks if I'm eating tuna in there. I also got, oh, where did I put it? Let me show you. Okay, yeah, I got one of these boys, and this is uh, grass-fed, and this is the first time I've got this. They don't have this at my local Walmart, so just kind of, I don't know, first time here. But anyway, uh, this is grass-fed beef chuck roast. I couldn't afford, like, the ribeyes or New York strips that they did have, uh, but I think the New York strip, he said, was 12 bucks per pound. I can't afford that, so I had to go with uh, the grass-fed beef chuck roast, which is six ninety six a pound, almost 7 bucks. Now, this is, like, 2 pounds, so it's almost, you know, l almost 14 bucks. 13 and 36 and I, I like this because I can actually eat like I wasn't able to eat raw beef before and I really want to do that I was before but I I wasn't risking it. I was cutting off the fat and I hate to do that what a waste right the fats the best part but not on factory farm meat right so you can't do that but this is grass-fed so I can eat the fat but I'm not gonna just eat this raw as is I mean I might a little bit maybe but uh, <laughs> this is gonna be a lot safer than the regular stuff but I'm gonna cut this thin I'm gonna like I don't know, I guess you could say cure it or ferment it just for a little bit, like slightly in apple cider vinegar for a week or so, maybe not quite that long for some of it. Uh, I'm impatient, right? But anyway, I'm going to be happy to eat that. Um, I, I don't eat, I don't want to eat uh, raw factory farm meat. I, I did try it a little bit in the beginning, but I, I don't want to risk that. It's just not the smart way to go. And, and you can't eat raw ground beef. Don't eat raw ground beef. That's super dangerous. Um, bit from big cuts, it is better to do. But again, I'm not really recommending anybody do that. I'm just saying and trying to be transparent to what I'm doing in my life. I'm really excited about this because it's, it's delicious. Raw meat is, I don't know, it's the most delicious thing. With Especially if it's fermented just for like a week or so in the vinegar and then dried off really well and then salted and it's just thinly it's like it's like cheese like meaty cheese i don't know there's nothing like it though what is the cheapest grass-fed beef adam that's what this whole video is about well uh unfortunately i couldn't really get to it but i do actually have a good tip for you okay and this is a tip that my buddy mark sent me uh it was he sent me this website called um, eatwild.com and apparently it's like this directory now this is only in the US oh in Canada and there might be some international farms but mainly it's a US thing I think um, but apparently there's different farms and uh, they have uh, a big directory of all the local places you can get grass-fed beef organic beef other things as well uh, pork chicken what whatnot if you're into all that thing veal even venison or whatever all the crazy stuff lamb um, but then you have uh, fruits and vegetables you can get, which I'm not interested in, but if you want to go that route and you want to get, then that's the way to go. Um, that's probably going to be your cheapest bet, but you're probably going to have to buy in bulk. Like a lot of these farmers, you can't go to them and be like, oh, let me get a pound of beef or let me get 10 pounds. You're probably going to have to buy, I don't know, at least 100 pounds, right? Or something like that. I don't really know. Let me know in the comments if you know anything about that or if you've ever done that. But yeah, go to eatwild.com, check them out. Um, I didn't have any good luck but maybe you will. It just depends on the area you are. I'm really not the expert in this, getting the cheapest grass-fed beef. This is just kind of, I don't know, I kind of wanted to vlog my experience with kind of looking for the cheapest grass-fed beef because it's really, really important to me. Like, very important. It's, it's like the perfect food, it, and my body really responds to it well. And I know some of you are going to be like, Adam, I can't eat beef. I know, I know. 
that's personal intolerances. That someone's intolerant to something, and I feel for you. I really do. Um, hopefully, you can eat other things. Um, maybe try bison if you can't eat beef. I think that would be a good way to go. And bison, I think, is always yeah. I think FDA says it has to always be grass fed because of some laws. I don't know. Anyway, so it's going to be organic and all that good stuff. So maybe check that out. Okay, I'm not even really sure how to word this. Um, this video has seriously taken, I don't know, it feels like it's been a year. I'll put the time right there. It's got to be at least six months, ten months, I don't know. This is crazy, this is ridiculous, but I had to get this right. I just felt like I, I was going on this like epic journey and I just kind of wanted to share what I learned along the way. And obviously, I know what, what you've seen so far, it, it's been okay, it's been alright. And that was great, um, but you know, Mostly I've just been going to Walmart and you know because I've been working out and I wanted more protein I have been doing leaner meat as well 93% uh, from Walmart. It's expensive, but it's 650, but it's convenient for me So I don't have to travel like an hour and a half away to get the 85% for 550 or whatever it is and uh, That's mostly what I've been doing with that said um, My final thing here is and this may not be a lifestyle for me, but I have gotten one step further um, actually today uh, my aunt hooked us up me and my family uh, my parents with a quarter of grass-fed cow um, from a friend that she had so it is 100% grass-fed um, and it was at a reasonable price I would say a great price um, it's about I will put pictures up here so you can see it um, it was about 250 pounds maybe a little bit less of cow and we got it at two dollars and fifty cents so obviously this doesn't really help a lot of people because this is probably more of a you know friend price they had a cow an extra large cow uh, that you know went to get processed and everything and it just happened to fall in my lap here so um, I want to show you those little packages of gr uh, it and it's not it's all the cuts it's not just ground beef but this is ground beef this is pretty huge okay so each of those little packages you're seeing is this big they're just two pounds a piece um, and then there's you know I just want to show you another one this you know club steak and stuff so um, there are t-bones in there uh, chuck roast arm roast you know all the all the different Anyway, this is really exciting for me. This is a lot of meat. This is, I don't know how long this is going to last, but I mean, being animal based, meat based, AIP, paleo, slash clean keto, all that good stuff, mostly whole. Uh, <laughs> It, did I miss something? Look, you don't all have to eat like me, okay? You don't all have to be meat-based or do that. I'm just saying this is what works for me, okay? You don't have to do that. You know what? If plant-based works for you, great. If you've healed all your stuff, go for it. Don't listen to me. I just think it's the way to go because, you know, the nutrients in meat are more absorbable, more bioavailable. I'm not the smartest guy. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not the smartest guy at all. I'm just a regular guy trying to do my best, trying to figure out the world, trying to figure out food and my health and, and healing the best way I can, optimally, at an affordable price in this modern, unnatural world that we live in, okay? It is not easy. It may not be possible for everyone. This is just my journey, okay? I just want to reiterate that this is my journey. Let me know what you're doing below. Are you, you know, ordering from an online place? Are you getting it from a friend? Are you finding a local farm? Are you getting it from Walmart, Jones Creek? Uh, farms, they, they're great. Uh, look, you don't have to trust me, you don't have to trust them, but just, you have to trust my symptoms though, okay? I am super sensitive, I can, <laughs> I know conventional meat from grass-fed meat just by eating it, okay? I know. So, you know, you can trust that, okay? And, you know, I haven't lied to you yet here, have I? And and I will admit when I'm wrong, and if I do discover I'm wrong, like with the, G, the ghee, uh, I will let you know there too. So, yeah, I hope you all have a great day. I hope you all have subscribed by now. Smash that subscribe button. Drop a like. I really deserve a like on this one, okay? Because this is like a year in the making. This took a long time. I feel different. I've been working out. I feel amazing. I've been eating nutrient-dense foods. Um, and things are going pretty well in my life right now. I hope all of your health is going great. That's, that's it. That's it. I, this is a bit anticlimactic because, so, anyway, okay. This is going to be the longest video of all time. I'm going to try to cut it down the best I can. Thanks for watching. See you next time, Healthy Rose.